What is up, everyone? My name is Virage, and I am with my good friend. Flash Static here, everybody. What's up? So, today we want to talk about some Pokemon use some, or there's a lot, that's like the acronym that people gave it because that's just how acronyms roll. But you know, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, there's been a lot of negative feedback from the Pokemon community, it seems. Don't you think, Flash? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, and I found that we an image was posted in Discord, and I hope you saw it because it totally, it, it totally encompassed everything that they had to say about it. Let's see if I could find it. Is it like uh, how we wanted Diamond and Pearl? Oh, well, people wanted. I, I, I was hoping for Gen Four, but I'm personally fine with this. But we'll discuss about what we saw and everything soon enough. Uh, if only, if only I could ever find that. That'd be so happy. I'd be so happy, but if, I can't. If you remember I'm later. I'm <laughs> yeah. So the first, so we have some like uh, we got some images that we saw that are in our head, so we just know what we saw. So. First, I want to talk about is like the initial path, you know, with the flowers and all that cool stuff. Uh, yeah. So Alola different definitely looks different. They did say it's an alternate story. So what are your thoughts on that? What do you think by um, alternate story? Definitely welcome. You know, the Alola the Alola region was not fleshed out enough, and mm -hmm. to see how we get a new story and the region slightly different. It's gonna be awesome. Yep, they added and, flowers, so that's good. Oh, the, 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 oh my! Yep, this, it looks beautiful. The colors. They are bright. They are so much more vibrant. I love it. But uh, when it comes to the alternate story, are you hoping for a black to white to kind of vibe, or just like a like a different timeline, or how, I, I like the what do different you think? Timeline. So timeline okay. More appealing. So basically, everything in Sun and Moon with Ultra Beast is just erased, and in this game, it's like you're a new person that doesn't know anything about the past. Is that how you're thinking it's gonna be? Yeah, because you gotta think. When you see the character running in the, you know, we'll leave a link to the. Can we leave a link to Nintendo's video? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure everyone saw it by now. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well, if they haven't, you know, why not? Anyway, <laughs> um, at, as you can see in the video, when they're when the character is running, you can obviously see them running from the same direction as the protagonist's house in the previous game. So it's the so, same location. Um, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's the same location, but there's differences all around. The story is going to be slightly different, and it's going to be, but, okay, no, not slightly different. It's going to be completely different. different. Yeah, I think so, too, because if you remember those cutscenes with the Pikachu field, the Pikachu bus or boat or whatever, uh, those Pokemon jumpy, like, Lycan Rock, and we got to see Mimikyu's eyes, What I think that may symbolize a new, uh, like, I don't know, new Z-moves, maybe? Possibly in the works? I could see maybe. that. I could see that. But with the storyline, I'm hoping uh, it's... Honestly, I'm fine with whatever they throw at us because it's just a new main series game, which I'm always down to see. Like, I know everyone, including myself, I was looking for Gen 4 Remix. I was actually predicting this would be Gen 4 Remix announcement, but it wasn't. But I'm not bummed out because, personally, more games are merrier to me. And I'm assuming you're in that same mindset. It's like another main series game suite. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit... I'm, I think I'm a tiny bit... I'm, Salty. A tiny, bit, a <laughs> tiny bit more down than you are because, you know, Gen 4 was my home generation. Yeah. It's where everything started for me. But I am nonetheless completely excited. I'm definitely not on that side of the community that's completely angry for no reason when we're it, getting I a know. better product. It's yeah. like, yeah. no Pokemon <laughs> stars. It's slightly different and it's a few changes and there's only one game. Yeah. You know, it's going to be great. What? A totally new story, two games. I saw what that meme. This? I saw that meme. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I was the, trying to yeah. earlier. Nice I, timing. I, <laughs> nice timing. Um, I don't know. I, I I really in I was enjoying the trailer to the point that I was like, oh, it's Pokemon. Then they snuck in a little bit of, you know, the DS, and I'm like, this is not Alola. There's flowers, but I'm nonetheless excited. Uh, the alternate story, I'm fine with whatever they throw. The one thing I want them to flesh out more and build upon is the Ultra Beast and the Wormhole. They, I feel like they brush over. I just finished the game, and I feel like it's like they don't talk about it enough. It's such a random occurrence, and it's like. They don't are they Pokemon? Are they are they not Pokemon? Some of them look super like not even close. Necrozma, which is supposed to be a legendary, but I thought this entire time it's not. And apparently it's gonna get a big role in this game, as we saw with the uh, super armor Megazord line and bat. Yeah, <laughs> and I actually made this dis this discovery last night. Necrozma's ability is prism armor. And the headpiece to the image of Solgaleo and Lunala. Their headpiece is a prism. <laughs> 
So for sure, it's, it's for sure a type of fusion, I think, or DNA splicing with the these two plus uh, necrosm. That's my opinion. Do you think it's similar to DNA slicing or like fusion? Well, it, it could be. I mean, you know who appeared in the uh, Alola region last game, right? Chorus. <laughs> exactly. So. But it can also be something completely different. You know, maybe maybe Necrozma's like Hiram in a sense where it's just a shell of a Pokemon, kind of. And it just needs to be on something, like how it got yeah. attached to Zekrom and Reshiram, in this case, Lunala and Sotaleo. I can see that. Uh, yeah. I, I personally saw the designs and I loved them. I thought it looked so badass with Sogaleo, especially with the claws, and like I'm like, oh my god. Oh, I, yes. I loved definitely. it. And Lunala looked cool too, but I don't know. I just love Sogaleo a little more because, I don't know, lions are my favorite animals, but I just enjoyed that. And then, bouncing off of what we just talked about with the whole fusion concept or DNA slicing, did you notice how the trainer like twisted their Z yeah, bracelet? It twi yeah. The Z bracelet. And it was like flaring colors and stuff like that. So that might be indicating of the fusion thing, maybe? You also, think? side note, um, the. the... What, I forgot what it's called, the, the bracelet that they wear. Mm -hmm. It it used to be white, now it's black. Same color as Necrozma. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> uh, it may, may be, but, you know. But, subtle changes like that usually aren't made without a reason. Yeah, and then, like, the whole conspiracy. Oh, during the Pokemon Direct, yeah, Diamond and Pearl wasn't in the shelf. It was the only gen misrepresented. <laughs> Coincidence? There's okay. a wingle flying above the protagonist's head in Ultra Sun, Ultra, Ultra Moon. Alolan, Coincidence? Alolan Pelipper confirmed? <laughs> Links here. But, oh, speaking of Alolan forms, are you hoping to see more in this game? Because they did say we're going to be able to catch new Pokemon that we weren't before. And my theory on that is we might see, of course, new Alolan forms, which will be awesome, in my opinion. But new Pokemon as in, you know how we couldn't get Axew in the wild in this in uh, Sun and Moon? Yeah, yeah and you stuff can get Axew in the wild. You can? Uh, not, not technically in the yeah. wild, but the radar yeah but like some pokemon you can't get through the radar correct you, at, at all you to trade them so those pokemon are probably like gonna be like oh it's they in this alternate story they've migrated such as like a, other pokemon and they've become a lowland like what they're gonna uh, they're natives. gonna pull an omega ruby alpha sapphire My, you know, the you know, climate's changed. yeah <laughs> So Pokemon came over exactly. I think I mean if they ha unless they make brand new Pokemon like Legends or possibly even new UBs for this thing, I don't know what else new Pokemon we couldn't catch before would be, unless it's Bro. all including Alolans. Bro, I would be so down for more Ultra Beasts as long as they give a storyline uh, to yeah. explain the Ultra. Yeah, because I'm still confused. Thoroughly. I'm still confused. I like brushed over it a bit, but like still, I'm still confused. I'm like, what is the Ultra Wormhole? How the hell did it get discovered? Why is it here? Like. It's like, it's not complete, it's still so many, like, uns like, it's just like, we're getting little hints left and right, but we're not getting the full story. I feel like this is the Ultra Sun, U Sun is gonna be the re like, the thing that combines everything. And Zygarde, like, what up with that thing? Like, it just, it, it got a Megazord form, and then that's it? Like, nothing else happened, right? But here, but, new, more improved story. On that topic, do you think that Mon is gonna have a more important role? Which Mon? Zygarde? No, Mon. Remember the guy in charge of Pokepalego? If you if you oh, didn't connect the if you oh. didn't connect the dots, he's Gladian's father. I heard that he is Gladian's father. And I didn't I didn't know. He's the one who discovered the Ultra Wormholes. He is. I didn't actually see someone said that in my stream when I was it's playing the game. The dimensional laboratory or oh, whatever. Yeah, that place someone in. mentioned it. I was like, I didn't know if it was true, but oh my god! So so Lusamine's husband is the guy that we go to Pokepalego with, correct? Yeah, and if you can actually look, he does look sort of like... like yeah. I feel like, but, yeah, I feel like he might play a role. <laughs> will they get rid of Poke Pelego? Will we need to actually... Will we actually get to go to Poke Pelego physically in the game? Like, we can go to, like, islands? <laughs> I mean... You never know, he might just pop up somewhere in the middle of the story. <laughs> well, wait, this is kind of weird. If they're looking for their father, why, and B have the ability to fly to Poke Pelego with a Charizard, why don't they just tag along with us and we can reunite the family? Wait, what the hell? Well, well, we're talking about protagonist here. He can't connect the dots that easily. <laughs> but, like, it's logically, like, we we literally, to get to Poke Pelego, we fly there on Charizard. It's not like we're going through any special event. Anyone can get there. So it's like, why can't we take Gladion, Lusamine, and Lily? Like, <laughs> oh my god, I just realized oh. this. Oh, all it's, right. It's not really. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so simple, but, you can't, but your character can't connect the dots fast enough. You know, they made a new game just to connect the dots. That's what they're going to do. <laughs> Um, so, so what are your opinions on the Lycanroc jumping, the Mimikyu's red eyes that we get to see, uh, 
And, and, what uh, are those animations for? I'm curious. Do you have I, any opinions? I really want to know what's underneath Mimikyu. I Me really too. do. Me too. Watch me like a ghastly with like a bad hairdo or something like that. <laughs> but um, no. I'm 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 like I'm curious. Like, what did those? Why did they show those cutscenes of the Lycan Rock jumping, the Mimikyu jumping? Are those the new totems? Like, why would they? You got the toga tomorrow. You forget about that. Oh yeah, the one it gleamed at us so like e like it was so pissed. It was like, what you talk about me? It was representative of the community. <laughs> exactly. But see, the my thing is that they would not have shown those specific cutscenes in the game. All everything we saw is probably in the game. Like, all these cutscenes that we saw. Yeah. So, like, they made those cutscenes for those three Pokemon. Does that mean they're new totems with new animations coming out at us? I um, don't know, because... Well, they get rid of if, uh, if, the Kahunas? If you, look at where the, if you look at where the Lycan Rock is, it's definitely Pony Canyon. Or okay. somewhere along that area. Yeah. Is that, like, a new animation for encountering Pokemon? They jump at you in different ways? That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, you can find Lycan Rocks at Pony Canyon. Yeah, so. both night and day, yep. Midnight and uh, midday and stuff like that. It's interesting. There's a lot of... This trailer was super short. I wish they focused... I, I knew they used Pokken as like a little leverage to be like, Oh yeah, here's Pokken. Here's like a really, really... It was a nice trailer for Pokken Tournament. And then it's just like, let me throw 30 seconds of a game that people actually might want to see. Turns out no one really wanted to see it. Right? No, it's true. I No, I wanted to see it. I, I, I freaked out. I jumped around. And I'm just like, yes. But then like, I look on Twitter and stuff. Everyone's just like... Why, why, why do we have this? Why do we have this? I'm like, then what you, what's wrong? The Pokemon game. Just play them. If you don't want them, don't get them. But people are still going to get them. <laughs> so, the game everybody was looking forward to, Pokemon Stars. I... If you look, if you, you know, take a look at the, uh, you know how Sun had the Sun, Moon had the Moon. The logo next to everything of the thing in question, in this case a star. Mm-hmm. Um... If you look at that, it looks very similar to the black image overlaid over the sun, moon, and ultra sun, and ultra moon. Yeah, the little black star in between the sun and on the crescent of the moon. Also, they say a new light shines on Alola. So So does that mean we're getting a new le main story legend? Hmm. Or maybe maybe Necrozma is just going to become relevant. Maybe Necrozma will get a Omega. <laughs> Are Megas coming back? <laughs> no. I don't know, Zygarde, are they coming back? <laughs> uh, I know, Z Zygarde. Z what's, what role did Zygarde have? Poor Zygarde. And this whole thing, I don't think Zygarde was relevant at all. They gave him, like, a super awesome form. But, like, what's the point in doing that? And literally played no other role. So, I don't know. It, it's all these, like, starting with X and Y with Zygarde, they brought Zygarde to Alola. So, like, and now I feel like they, they hopefully will complete connect the dots with Zygarde and Necrozma and Lunala and uh, Sogaleo. Ever notice, ever notice the image of Malia Garden? Which one? Uh, remember remember Malia uh, City, they have that uh, garden area? Mm hmm. If you look at the uh, image formed by the water, it looks like a Zygarde. By, uh, the side profile of it. Hmm. 50%, of course. So you think that... I, I don't know, just there's so many connections. So I think you some will fill in all these holes that we're seeing? Yeah, I know. There's just so many connections between Zygarde and the Alola region. The for whatever you, reason. The, the, the cave where you find the final Ultra Beast looks like Terminus Cave from Kalos. Oh yeah, yeah, for Guzzlord, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I did that yesterday. I, I finished catching it yesterday. I'm like, I was like, this kind of reminds me of like X and Y. So it's like... And then it's X and Y is somehow connected with uh, Sun and Moon, but then Sun and Moon is somehow connected with Kanto because, you know, they're close by, there's so many a bunch of references to it. So it's just like, what is all of this referencing? Is you, I hope you some just like sums it all up, you know, no pun intended, but come on, tell us what we want to know. It's so many holes that need to be filled. And I don't know, I, I'm excited. The trailer, I, I, it got me hyped. I can't wait to see more stuff. Koro Koro leaks, of course, are going to be coming now. And honestly, in less than in like a year, we're getting a brand new main story game, which is insanely fast, in my opinion, because it's already June. So we have five months left until we see this game, actually. So I'm excited. Oh yeah, I am definitely. Oh, the hype. The hype. The hype. The, the, I'm, I'm actually hyped. So do you have any last uh, minute uh, things you want to discuss before we sign off? Well, I think... just one thing. What do you think the... Like, going back to the turning of the Z-Crystal, what do you think that can be? What that symbolizes? I think the turning of the Z-Crystal may symbolize, like, a potential DNA or slicing or fusion between Necrozma and the two legends, Sokolilu and Nala. Because it's like... 
they wouldn't do that for any regular Z move. Unless it's a Z move that's super specific to them, that's a possibility, but that's like a really flashy animation. So I don't know if I feel like it has to do with the whole fusion prism kind of thing. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I couldn't see anything else unless they made like Z move super awesome hyped animations every single time. And this is just like Z tackle or Z splash, that'd be awesome. But you know, <laughs> we have five months to speculate <laughs> and five months until we get to know the real answers. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to check out my man Flash Static. Link in the description down below and vice versa for everything else. If you, uh, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe to everyone, just for more of the discussions to come. I think Flash and I will continue talking about it the more we learn more info, if you're down for that. Sounds great. Sweet. So, if you guys uh, want to catch check us out, just go check out our Twitters and uh, YouTubes and stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.